Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'll be working with some vinyl to change my silver suspension arms into these. First things first when it comes to vinyl installations is the preparation. And for this, I'm using isopropyl alcohol and a rag. Having a clean surface ensures the vinyl is gonna stick and cure properly. I started with the carbon fiber inlays because it's such a deep crevice here that trying to do this in one piece would be very difficult. And plus I just like how the carbon fiber looked. So I'm not really worried about the seams either because this isn't really a focal point on the scooter. I'm just doing this as an accent because I really don't like how the silver looks. One thing that I really like about working with wrapped vinyl is that you don't have to worry so much about making any mistakes because if you do, all you have to do is lift up the vinyl, apply a little bit of heat, and it goes back to its original form. So if you're a beginner like I am, you don't have to worry about wasting film because it is very, very forgiving like I said. There isn't really too much instruction that I have for this video other than just really take your time and be patient. Uh, the first one I did ended up taking me just about four hours. I know that sounds like a lot, but there was a lot of uh, trial and error, uh, redoing a lot of pieces and just making sure you know, where to start, where to finish and how it was gonna look the best. And, and so if you do this, um, don't take this as the way to do it. Um, just make it your way. You know, however the vinyl is going to work for you, that's the best way to do it. And since this isn't a focal point, like I said earlier, however you're going to do it, it's probably going to turn out great. So I guess other than taking your time and being patient with this, the only thing I would really suggest is just making sure you did all of the little pieces first. Um, the reason I say that is because if you put on the big piece first that covers the face, then you're going to have seams exposed. So the more seams you have exposed, the higher chance you have of water and things like that getting into it if you ever were in the rain or ran through puddles, anything like that. So if you put the small pieces on first, the bigger piece is going to cover up majority of those seams. But outside of that, just make it your way. Uh, like I said earlier, the vinyl is super forgiving and so um, you have a lot of opportunity to make it however you need it to go. Uh, this isn't the right way for sure. I'm sure if any professional vinyl installers are watching this, it might be a little bit painful. But for what it is, I think it's going to turn out great. So I'm going to let the rest of the video roll just till I'm finished with the installation. And then I'll pop back in and we'll look at the finished product.
So here is the final product, and I really couldn't be happier with how it turned out. It did take a lot of time, it was a little bit trying on my patience, but after everything was said and done, it turned out fantastic, and I couldn't be happier with the results. The old ones, they just always bothered me because the silver just stuck out so much. On the 10X, they're very bright red and look super cool, but the silver on the 8X just looks so lame to me. So I had to make a change to it, and I'm really glad that I did because it turned out great. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think they really turned out cool. If you have any questions about doing this yourself, I would love to get those answered. If you haven't already become a subscriber, I would love to have you guys on board. And as always, see you next time.